One of my favorite things is when somebody tries to kind of like throw a stone at me, troll me or whatever, and then they help me prove a fantastic point. And that's exactly what happened here. And I'm gonna talk about why charts are so great using what somebody thought was like a troll against me. So before I get into the topic that I wanna kind of really talk about in terms of why I find charts just such a, a great tool and an efficient tool is I wanna set the premise, kind of set the context with uh, this, like I said, kind of insult that somebody threw at me on Twitter. But like I already said, helped lead right into the very point that I'm trying to make in terms of why you know charts are great and why one of the reasons I love to use them. So let's start with this insult. So again, from Twitter, he says the same crap on every chart, just a method of selling subscriptions to newbies, period. A little bit more context real quick, if you're unfamiliar with the channel or uh, my website or whatever, one of the things I do is I'll take a ticker symbol and then I'll do a, a video chart on it where I talk about uh, the chart itself and just go over and do a quick analysis on it. So that's what he's talking about when he says, you know, he says the same crap on every chart. Keyword there being same. And he's saying it in the terms of, you know, it's well, it's just crap because it's the same thing over and over and over again. And you know what? Yeah, it, it, it kind of is. But that's a good thing. That's actually a great thing when you're looking at how can I you know, best spend my time? What is a very time efficient way to analyze the markets? And technical charts are a great way because yeah, after a while, it does kind of become the same crap over and over and over again. But why is that? Well, charts are all about this right here, emotions. So I mean, as I write these out, I mean, you want to name some emotions that you know about, but I mean, fear, greed, panic, overconfidence, uh, denial, and you know, more and more emotions that go down, but emotions. They are what they are. All humans have them. All humans are always going to have them. They've always had them. And it's nothing new. And the biggest kind of point to prove this, not that I'm saying you need proof because you don't believe me, but there are literally college degrees based around this. You know, you can go to school and get a PhD to become what? Like a psychologist, right? I don't know if that's how you spell the word, but you know what I'm getting at. Psychology, right? That's a huge degree, a very popular degree. And that is all based around emotions because emotions are just part of life. They're part of us as humans. And that's what charts are taking into consideration. That's what they're analyzing. How is a stock trading? What are the emotions behind it? And I'm not gonna get into it any further than that, but just know that emotions are the key backbone with charts. So yes, charting patterns, charting setups, what have you, whatever you wanna call them, they are limited. There's only so much that you can really say. It's not like next week there's gonna be some new totally chart setup that nobody's ever seen before that it's, whoa, what's going on? No, because charts are based on emotions, because emotions, everybody has them. They all have, you know, everybody can be fearful and greedy and so on and so forth. It is what it is. So yeah, from a, a video perspective in terms of me taking a ticker symbol and talking about it, there's only so much I can say. I can't just make up stuff because, oh wow, people are no longer greedy. Oh wow, people are no longer fearful. No, people are always gonna have those emotions going on. So yeah, the same crap, you know, it's the truth. But from a time efficiency perspective, that's why I love charts because I don't have to go out there and dig a bunch of research and look here and look there and figure out what's going on with that because something has changed and now I gotta go, no. It is what it is, and sure, from maybe you know, a presentation standpoint, I can come across as all you do is repeat yourself. It's like the same thing. Maybe you verify or you have a little variety, but it's pretty much the same thing. Well, yeah, it is. I take that as a compliment because that's just proving the point that charts don't change. But let's look on the flip side of things from a fundamental perspective. So there's two types of analysis out there, technical, which is charts and fundamental analysis, which is balance sheets, cash flow statements, so on and so forth. And this is just one little example. And you know, to give this person credit, you know, if I was doing 
fundamental video reviews where I'd look at the fundamentals of a company and then I was saying the same crap over and over again, that wouldn't really make sense because fundamentals are always changing. And if I wanted to truly have a, a different video, like a, a completely original video every single time, then yeah, I would wanna do fundamental videos. But again, I value my time. I don't have to spend a bunch of time researching and digging. I just wanna be able to look at a chart, say, oh yeah, it's that pattern combined with that pattern combined with that trend combined with that candlesticks, boom, I'm done. Whereas fundamental, let's just say this happens. A management change. Well, holy crap. Who is the guy, you know? So who is the guy? Has he ever CEO'd before? Has he ever done his position before? If he has, what was his style with those companies? How did that style turn out? Does it look like he's gonna do the same style with this new company? And so on and so forth, just with the management change. So yeah, you could get original material from a video perspective and it wouldn't be the same crap. But, you know, looking at your watch, that, that's a lot more stuff than just using a chart, reading the emotion and saying, oh yeah, that's going on because of that and that, and then you have this going on, I'm done. And it genuinely can become that quick, once you stare at enough charts, because it is the same stuff over and over and over again, you can get super efficient at it. But with this, I mean, there's no other choice. You gotta dig into this person's background. You gotta see how they've handled things in the past. Have they ever done it before? And so on and so forth. And that's just one example. That's just a management change. But I mean, balance sheets are changing all the time. Cash flow statements are changing all the time. All those different fundamental you know, attributes are changing and then you have you know, economic issues. Well, how is this? It's endless over here. And I'm not saying you can't make money that way. So that's not the point of this video, but I'm just looking at things from a time perspective and you know, kind of kind of defend myself and show why this person's insult actually proved me right. So yeah, it is the same crap over and over again in the world of charts, but as somebody that wants to spend my time as efficiently as possible, yeah, I, I, I'd like to have things that are limited because it is what it is. And while it can appear, well, geez, it's just the same this, or it's just the same that over and over again, that just, I think, proves how efficient it can be when you get to know, you know the patterns, the trends, and all the different things that you can look at, and the, the story that a chart is actually telling you. So if you're looking for something to really kind of just hammer home and make the, the time efficiency the most, charts are definitely something to, to look into. Yeah, it is very time front-loaded. I mean, you're gonna have to spend a lot of time to learn charts, how to read them, how to apply them, how to manage trades with them, but after you get over that first big you know, time speed bump, things do become um, not easy, not super quick, but they come very, very efficient. And anybody that's gotten over that time hurdle, uh, you, know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, if you're thinking about charts, and may, hopefully this was kind of maybe something that could push, over, push you over the edge in terms of, all right, yeah, now I'm convinced to at least give them a try.